name's Rebecca. I'm eight years old, and I'm the number one ranked duelist in America. That's impossible. Only grown-ups are allowed to play children's card games. I'm looking for Solomon Moto. Who the hell is Solomon Moto? Yugi, that's your grandpa. He has a name? Hello, little girl. If you're trying to get into my will, you'd better hurry up. I could drop dead at any second. With any luck. You stole my blue-eyes white dragon. Oh, she's so cute. She wasn't talking to you. Nee, the bear is possessed. <laughs> Don't be silly. It's just a regular teddy bear. Well, okay, but it did seem kind of like... You'll be the first to die. I want you to return the card you stole from me. You'll never get it back. It's mine. Mine, I tell you. Your mother plays card games in hell. Okay. Look, Daddy. It's a blue eyes. A real one. <laughs> it's just a statue, you ignorant child. By the way, the Easter Bunny isn't real either. And I'm not even your real father. Uh... No, Yugi, you can't be dead. If you were dead, then four kids would have censored it. Yugi, Yugi! Holy crap! Yeah, I'm hungry. I learned this trick from watching Excel Saga. Uh... In America. January 12th. Mood fabulous. Darling Cecilia, I still I remember, remember the, the first, first day, day we, we met. You were the second most beautiful person I'd ever laid eyes on. The first was me, of course. We fell in love instantly and decided to get married. Then, when we were standing at the altar, something very unexpected happened. You exploded. <laughs> yeah, that was kind of weird. In my grief, I took a trip to Egypt, because that's what people do when they're grieving. They go to Egypt. The Millennium Eye gave me the power to see into the world beyond. At long last, I was reunited with you, my love. I thought my dreams had finally come true, but then you exploded again. You really need to stop doing that.